So I have been waiting for this one. Uh, Rocky Ridge continues to be one of my favorite breweries anywhere. Uh, of course, because I, I, I am biased, uh, they took very good care of us when we visited them in Bustleton. Uh, I, I definitely am reaching for that experience, I think, whenever I, I, I um, open a Rocky Ridge beer. Um, that being said, I do think they are very well put together. I, I, I do feel like their beers have a certain depth that it took me a while to appreciate. I think the first time I had a Rocky Ridge beer, I was like, uh, I don't know what's going on. There's too much going on. But mm, I'd like to think as, as my taste developed a bit, I was able to appreciate uh, different things going on uh, in a beer. For example, this one, the Oaked Cream, uh, DDH Oaked Cream IPA. Um, it starts sweet, which I don't like. Yeah, if you give me a sweet beer, usually I'm, I'm not, you know, unless it's a, it's a stout or a porter or something like that, like a dessert or a pastry stout. I'm not really a fan of sweet-ish uh, IPAs. This one though, starts sweet and fades to uh, a really, really clean sort of bitterness. Um, and clean is not a, a word that you'd associate with this style of um, uh, the uh, cream ale, or, or I'm probably using the wrong word, but this sort of like lactose, milky, milkshakey kind of uh, flavor. So it's got that kind of sweetness and vanilla notes, um, and it has that kind of sweet milk or almost vanilla ice cream type flavor, and then it fades into a really clean bitterness. So there's a lot going on in this beer, which I think is characteristic of the Rocky Ridge beers which is probably why I love them so much. So, cheers everyone.